or your Dun & Bradstreet pay that score, you got that pretty 80, it, it just looks good, but it does nothing. If you apply for a lease, a commercial lease, and you're trying to do a sublet, or you're trying to do rental arbitrage, and you want to apply at a condo, they're going to pull and check your Experian business credit report, okay? They're not going to check your, your personal. They're going to check your Experian business credit report. And if that doesn't look good, you're going to get denied. So to paint this picture, the first thing I want to talk about is what Dun & Bradstreet services are out there. And then by the end of this, you'll understand exactly where I'm coming from. Okay. So Dun & Bradstreet, they offer what? A Dun's number. They offer you a business credit score, right? The biggest and most important thing that they offer, right? Let me share my screen. But when you go to get your Dunn's number, they're going to try to make it seem like it's uh, like you got to pay to get a Dunn and Bradstreet number. You do not have to pay this 229 to get your Dunn and Bradstreet number. They hide it. It's, it's way down here in this little fine print, but you can get it for free. Never pay for your Dunn and Bradstreet number, your Dunn's number, with one exception, and that's just for whatever reason, if you can't wait the 30 days, then you can pay the 229 and then you'll get it in a matter of one week instead of four weeks. Ooh, but uh, you don't need to pay for a Dunn's number. Now let's talk about uh, how to check your business credit score, right? They have this service. They have actually three different plans. The free plan, which is virtually useless. You get nothing outside of a 14 day trial, but then you get credit signal, right? So credit signal and credit monitor is going to allow you to actually monitor your scores and see all of your business credit scores, because guess what? A lot of you guys may not know, but your pay debt score is just one of like six Dun & Bradstreet scores. All right. So you really got to get to know the ins and outs of business credit, because I'm, I'm here to tell you the Dun & Bradstreet pay debt score is the easiest part about building uh, business credit because all you need is to have three payments across two different trade lines and then bam you got an 80 pay that score but that's not that's really not going to get you approved anywhere it's about what's on your full credit report um where you know you'll see everything right you'll see your uh delinquency predictor uh score you'll see your actual dmv rating which is a combination of letters and numbers you got to get to know Stuff. And of course, I cover that all in Green Skull Academy if you needed to know. Now, the next thing that they have is uh, the credit builder program, right? So with the credit builder program, they have the $149 a month for the credit builder plus, and they have the credit builder premium, which is 200 bucks a month, right? Now, you either get unlimited or you get 12 trade references. What do I mean by that? It allows you to report through the back door to Dun & Bradstreet, okay? That's what it is. So they want you to pay $150 a month to report to uh, Dun & Bradstreet up to 12 trade references. Let me explain something to you. So Dun & Bradstreet is doing something where they are literally breaking contracts with a lot of your favorite vendor accounts, net 30s, you know, net 60s, and then further, some charge cards and everything, right? Dun & Bradstreet is greedy. Let's just call it what it is. If you are a business owner, I can pretty much guarantee that you've been called from Dun & Bradstreet and they have tried to upsell you in some way, right? Whether it be to pay a couple thousand dollars, a couple hundred dollars, they'll help you out, do that in a third. So whether it be, for example, there are some vendor accounts that I've featured on my business, uh, credit channel that they used to report to Dun & Bradstreet and then all of a sudden they stopped reporting to Dun & Bradstreet. It's because Dun & Bradstreet wants you to pay that $150 or that $200 a month. I would not be surprised if a couple of months from now, a couple of years from now, that nobody reports directly to Dun & Bradstreet. They don't like the fact that there are services out there that just for 15 bucks a month or just for 50 bucks a month, they will report your payment history to Dun & Bradstreet. They would rather you depend on them to pay the 200 or the 150. That's just, that's the truth, right? Um, 
and and that's the thing so like for example yeah so salt river says yet yeah, dmb admits that it only publishes 26 of the self-reported trade lines which is crazy right um so stephanie says they told me i didn't have a duns number but when i googled my business it showed me uh that you had a duns number yeah like the first thing you do when you when you try to figure out that like, you started a business and you are unsure you go to their website and you do a simple search you check to see uh by you know they ask you to type in like the name of your business and then like the the zip code or the address and then yeah most of the time you may have all if you if you've been in business for a year or more even if you've never built business credit you probably have a duns number yet they want you to pay 230 <laughs> right to get one so i just want you to, you guys to know because i get people uh, that will DM me like I have. I'm, I'm not joking. I had this guy DM me on IG saying he's going to expose me because I made a video about a service and said that they reported done in Bradstreet two years ago. News flash, guys. Business credit changes. It changes frequently. There are things that happen in business, right? If you have a business, you got to pivot. So if Dun & Bradstreet is taking this approach, and they no longer want any um, of these like um, e-commerce businesses or, you know, mom and pop shops too. If they no longer want anybody to be able to provide the service of business credit reporting, they only want you to pay for their service. Cause you got to keep in mind in the pandemic in 2020 to now, all of a sudden, you had all of these people quitting their jobs and starting a business. I I can't say I was one of them. I started my business in 2019, so I was a little early. But for most of you, you started your business in the pandemic. So you started watching YouTube and you wanted to learn about business credit. Guess what? DMB was watching YouTube too. So they found out, oh, there's a whole new opportunity where we can make more money and we can increase our bottom line if we get them hooked on our uh, credit monitoring plus the credit builder program. Now, don't get me wrong, it's valuable. And you know, if you want to pay the money, sure, go right ahead. If you have a lot of vendors that don't report to anybody, but there's still plenty of vendors that report uh, to Experian, Equifax, Paynet, uh, Credit Safe, Ansania, Moody Analytics, these third party vendors, they report to Dun & Bradstreet, but not directly to Dun & Bradstreet, right? I mean, and, and then there's a such thing called your, your lender consortium um, experiences on Experian, right? Where if you have, let's say a gas card or a lot of these different charge cards that report to the SBFE, the Small Business Financial Exchange, that payment information and that whole account shows up on your Experian business credit report, your IntelliScore, right? So I just want, I want you guys to start focusing more on Experian, Equifax, and Credit Safe, and the Small Business Financial Exchange. Those, in my opinion, are much more valuable. Another thing, Experian is super, super valuable. I know I said the FICO SBS score is the most important, but right below that, we're pretty much at the same because you know FICO SBS is all about Experian. Your Experian is super important, guys, because let me tell you something. Everybody wants to get into Airbnb. Everybody wants to do short-term, mid-term rentals, and you want to get into uh, doing real estate investing. Well, guess what? No matter how good um, your personal credit score is or your business credit score, for the most part, like you're, I'm sorry, your Dun & Bradstreet pay that score. If you got that pretty 80, it, it just looks good, but it does nothing. If you apply for a lease, a commercial lease, and you're trying to do a sublet or you're trying to do rental arbitrage and you want to apply at a condo, they're going to pull and check your Experian business credit report. Okay? And check your your personal, they're going to check your Experian business credit report. And if that doesn't look good, you're going to get denied. So even if you got a, a pretty 90 payday score, right? If you have a 25 on your Experian and Telescore, you're not going to be able to rent or lease. Okay. So that's really, really important.
And this is something I talked about or touched on earlier as well. So I only want you guys to sign up for services that benefit you. Okay, let me repeat that. I only want you guys to sign up for services that benefit you. What do I mean by that? It really doesn't matter how great a product or service is. You first got to ask yourself, what's the purpose of this product? What problem does it solve? And secondly, is the problem that the product or service solves related to me or, or your current circumstances? Now, if it doesn't, don't sign up. There's no need to waste your money. OK, now, why am I saying this right now? Some of you may be surprised or some of you are surprised sometimes when you comment under a video and you ask, well, have you used this service? And I'm like, no, I don't have a need to. So, for example, somebody asked me, uh, did you buy a wholesale shelf court? Because I made videos about shelf courts. Have you used that service? I'm like, no, because my business is uh, four years old. And why, like, I don't have a need to buy a shelf court because I built my business credit from the ground up. So there's no reason for me to buy a shelf court. People ask me, have you, have you signed up for this credit builder? And I'm like, I have good credit. I'm sorry. Like, I'm not going to use every service that I talk about on YouTube if it doesn't make sense for me to use it. OK, so that's what I mean. Some of you just get in the habit of just signing up for things because it sounds good. But again, you want to make sure that you decide or figure out what is the service for again? What does it do? Does that apply to me before you start signing up for things willy nilly? Now, with that being said, um, I hope you guys enjoy, especially the people rewatching this on the replay. I hope you enjoy the rest of your morning, afternoon, and for most of us, the evening. Enjoy the rest of your night. Uh, thanks for watching. And I'll catch y'all next Sunday.